got this. Allow me. Come at me, fools! Just say the word. Just leave it to me. Nothing will stop me. <laughs> Stand back. The mother walks with me. You got it. Is it just me or am I on fire lately? That was marvelous. Yeah, thank you. Okay, I'm ready. That was filling. Sure, why not? Don't worry about me.
Thank you. Just say the word. You deserve to lose. Come at me, fools! as dashing as I am. You need to heal. Yeah, I got it. You'd better heal. It's more fun when we barely escape with our lives, right? Claire, you're safe. Oh, good 
day, Fernand. And what brings you here? Need you even ask? When I heard you had been taken prisoner, I mounted my finest destrier and sped here at once. Sir Clive couldn't leave the hideout without its commander, of course. But I see I am a step behind regardless. Who is this rabble? Um, are you talking about us? They are not rabble, Fernand. This boy is Alm. He is the grandson of Sir Mycen himself. Mycen's grandson? Lucas, I demand to know the meaning of this. You were ordered to find the general himself, not some muling child. Sadly, Sir Mycen was not so easily convinced. However, Alm and his friends have joined our cause in his stead. Is this some manner of folly to you, Lucas? Am I to be amused? Such base-born curs cannot possibly aid our cause. The Deliverance has no place for brats with pitchforks. Fernand, you must listen to reason. These curs you so easily disparage fought valiantly for us. In fact, without Alm, we might not have retaken the southern outpost. I can vouch for their strength. <laughs> As if the word of a backwater noble carries weight with me. Your entire house should be kissing the knights of Sophia's feet. Uh, I think that's enough. You can say whatever nasty things about me you like. I'll get over it. But Lucas deserves your respect. I beg your pardon? Do I look like a man who listens to the opinions of peasants? Then you can listen to me, because I happen to agree with him. Fernand, my brother already explained this to you, did he not? Sir Clive, what exactly did he explain? A soldier's worth is not determined by the station of his birth. If we do not all fight together as one, then we will never defeat Desay. Those are wise words. Unforgettable words. Desay's forces already have us at heel. Yet you would splinter us further? <sighs> You there, boy. That's me, I take it? Out of respect for Sir Clive, I will permit you to join the Deliverance. But you will learn your place. Now, Claire, seeing as you are safe, you have no need for these people. Come, let us return. We must report this matter to Sir Clive at once. I will do no such thing. I'm going with Om. Very well. Do as you please. Wow, what a jerk! I've never met someone so rude! I guess we've been spoiled by Lucas. He nearly convinced me that Swanish Knights are the exception, not the rule. But that was a swan, all right. <laughs> you poor dears must be so upset. I apologize for the way he treated you. Don't be silly. You don't have to lower yourself for a miserable human being like that. Oh, my. Oh, great. Here we go. What? I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, regardless, please don't think ill of Fernand. He wasn't always like this. The world changed him. Did something happen to him? <sighs> we live in trying times, and some things that transpire are difficult to put into words. In any case, we should be on our way.